What is going on, Radar Force? Today, I have another rant video. Uh, news is escalating on the Dragon Ball Z Crunchyroll uh, Seasons 1 through 9 re release, which are, they're re releasing these, which you guys know. Uh, we talked about them on the last video. If you want to uh, get caught up on that, uh, check that video out. The link will be in the description, or you'll just see it. Whatever. Whatever I decide to do. But uh, yeah, so they were re releasing the 1 through 9 singles. So from what it looked like on Amazon and Crunchyroll website, they're just releasing the single sets right here without a slipcover, which that's still not confirmed, but it looks like it's going to be confirmed without a slipcover. And, you know, I was talking about, like, why why are they re-releasing inferior releases to what they've already put out, right? And it's annoying. Um, and especially, like, without a slip... Ah. They're re Anyways, no words. So the issue is, you know, and I was talking about it, I was like, so they're just going to re-release the same bullcrap with nothing different and without a slipcover. Well, news has turned a little bit different and they, it's almost like they watched my video and heard my complaint and just fixed it, but not really because it's still the same crap and it's just annoying because now I am basically persuaded to having to buy this just because it is an exclusive artwork now. Which is unfortunate, but what they're doing. So this seasons one through nine were um, actually uh, sent in a box set, but Amazon exclusive. Funnily enough, they are doing that again. So they're bundling the new Crunchyroll seasons one through nine, same artwork, same spine, same everything, same disc confirmed. Now uh, they're <laughs> releasing an Amazon exclusive box set. Unfortunately for me. It is not in the same box. It's different artwork. It's exclusive artwork. And pretty much meaning I have to bite the bullet and buy this, which I know that's a super dumb thing to do. But my collection is so vast and so complete that I pretty much have to do this. So let me get the screen on. And let's check out what um, Crunchyroll, Crunchy Roll, let's, let's see what Crunchyroll has done to us. Uh, and definitely let me know down below what you think the deal is with this bullcrap. So let's go. So here we have, uh, my, I'm in the way here, but uh, let's see if I can't move. Let's move my webcam real quick, just to get it out of the way. Okay, I'm over there. I gotta move that back, because I like it on the left corner, but that's all right, that is all right. So, here we are. So Dragon Ball Z, seasons one through nine, Amazon exclusive. Crunchyroll box set. So this is so. So we had we had the so this is the releases of like orange bricks. We have the orange bricks. Then they they all but luckily they put the orange bricks in an Fye box set back in the day. So you have Fye box set number one. Then they got re released in the double packs. Um. Then they got released in the thirtieth anniversary Fye box Fye box set number two without the slipcover, just like this. They're releasing the same Blu-rays without the slipcover in a box set, just like the Amazon exclusive box set number one. So now we're going to have an Amazon box set number two of the same set without slipcover, just like the Orange Bricks. And then they re-released the Orange Bricks again, Walmart exclusive with the 30th anniversary new artwork slipcovers. So it's just, it's just a bunch of crap going on. But let's check this out, right? 189 not the worst. That's what you're expecting to see. That's not an unfair price, I will say that. Because on Crunchyroll, they're selling these seasons for like 44 for one. So this gives you a way better deal. I already bit the bullet and I bought it. But even though it's not justified for me buying, I had to because this is new artwork and I, you know, have a complete collection. So just keep up with it. Um, but it, I mean, it's cool. You know, they got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But as you can see right here, the discs are exactly the same that are in the sets we have now. That came out, what, 2012, 13? Um, one through now we got Goku, in regular form, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku. Then you got Frieza on the top. Uh, we cannot confirm the bottom, but it's probably not going to have a picture. It's just going to have like uh, the legal information. So let's take a look. I mean, it's funny. Because when you think about it, look at this. It has the same tab 
See that tab? Seasons 1 through 9? Seasons 1 through 9? It's literally on this box set. It's They are literally taking the same design of the old Amazon box and just plopping a new picture on it. Unfortunately, big, big letdown that Funimation could have done here, or Crunchyroll could have done here. See, they chose seasons, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for this box set. They should have done 1, 2, and 3, or uh, 7, 8, 9 and put it on the next Amazon exclusive box set. That would have been sick. I would have not been against that at all, even though I would hate to have to buy the same thing again. But that's a missed opportunity. They could have easily have just picked another saga. And then, uh, or even if, you know, made a third box set with the uh, seasons one through three artwork on the box. That would have been sick, but no, instead they just wanted to plop orange background, DBZ text, and then a character. Like Literally the laziest, laziest thing they could have done. Um, but yeah, seasons one through nine, and then obviously we have the same disc, which the discs are definitely darker blue, at least in the stock photo, than what we have. And I think there's not gonna be a slipcover on the uh, individual cases like they um, did in the previous releases. So yeah, that is the thoughts on that. Uh, this comes out August um, 1st, 2023, so not far away. Also, I think one of my buddies here reviewed this when it came out. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So I don't know who wrote this, but this is this is a more expensive repackaging of the Crop Blu-ray set from 2013. I don't know, I mean 2017. Don't know where the 2017 came from. But Dragon Ball Z is a show that was originally released in 4x3 aspect ratio. This collection is cropped 16x9. So you're missing a lot of the image. Blah, 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 blah. The series was released in blah, blah, blah. Okay, and going at the level set 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2. Wait, what? Those were never released. But anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Holy balls. Holy balls. I'm, I can't read all that, but if you want to read it, pause the video. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, bro, you just said right here. This set here is a repackage of 2013 crop release, thus making this identical to the 2017 Funimation bundle. Wait, what? They bundled in 2017. Why am I? Why do I feel like I'm? I'm missing this. The only difference is that they rebranded the Country Roll set instead of Funimation set. As such, they're crop, so they're not great. Furthermore, the crop 2017 set is cheaper than this Country Roll set. Funny set is okay. So I think the 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 set they're talking about is the box set that I have right here. I guess that was released in 2017. Not sure. <sighs> so, yeah, right here. So, there's no reason to get this set. Look out to her. I mean, it's very true. And let's read this one because it's kind of short. Looks like a repacking of the awful crop 16x9 American Blu rays. The show is made in 4x3 aspect ratio. And in order to replace the black bars on the left and right, they need to zoom in, making the picture look worse, and at the same time, deleted handmade art. If you want DBZ on Blu-ray, look into the UK release, which say they're region lot, but if you look at the disc, they say region A and B. This box set was re just revealed, and I can't at the time actually see the aspect ratio uh, they went with, but I suspect they went, they don't even, have, they, they went with 16 by 9 don't even, bruh. They're not going to use the same artwork in the same disc and 4x3 it, no. They're not gonna do it. I thought there was another one on there, but maybe not. I thought I saw my friends on there, but he might have deleted it. Anyways, yeah, that's 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 that. It's already got a terrible review, which is great. Go go leave your review if you want. I would I might do a follow up video just reading these reviews if we get a lot of reviews. But I I, I am gonna confirm that I did bite the bullet and I pre ordered this because why not? I feel like I'm definitely gonna review it for the channel. Although I'm I'm definitely not gonna open the box. It's just it's gonna sit on my shelf and collect dust. But nonetheless, we got another release coming out. Unfortunately, I really hate to just even say I bought it because it's, I really shouldn't be giving my money to these people, but they they foiled me again. They foiled me again. It's like they listened to my video and decided, and decided to uh, put a box set on it. That's exclusive artwork. But anyways, enough ranting guys. That's it for this video. And if you didn't notice, I'm wearing uh, a Raider for sure. 
I just got these printed. I'm going to a convention uh, at the end of this month. I mentioned that in a previous video. But uh, yeah, Radar Force. And on the back, you can see. I'm gonna try to be. Uh, I'm gonna try to be set up when we go. I'll put a picture on the screen of the shirt just so you can see. But that's it. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video and uh, want to see more content like this, more rents, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this new release in the artwork. And let me know if you're going to bite the bullet like I didn't buy this. Let me know if you want to punch Crunchyroll in the face. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.